Your what's going on, everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I am reporting to y'all from DC right now. I'm not sure if you guys know, but late last night into the early mornings, after all of the Kai Sinat and AMP nonsense that went on in New York, shout out to the guys. That shit was crazy. That was a movie. But Mike Wayne decided to come out of retirement for the year. Not only did Mike Wayne do a NBA 2K League broadcast with LD2K. Some things that they give you as feedback that you take to the drawing board and kind of the team and say, okay, how can we tweak this? Or how, is there like a, is it basically based off community feedback directly from these sessions? Or are you looking at stuff and you're like, oh, this is good. They like this stuff. We gotta kind of improve this stuff or tweak this stuff based on some of that feedback. Yeah, it's pretty much all over the board. Like we focus on gameplay for this event and you know, they come in with very fresh perspectives of 23, right? So they've been on it all year long. So their brain, their brain's there. They're still using like kind of exploits or things that they really like in 23 to try to be successful. So they come in trying to do those things right away and they see that a lot of things have been fixed or changed. And so for us, um, it's helpful for them to, to know, to remember, because we've been, in, we've been in the trenches for so long. Like some of the things that they're, they thought they'd be complaining about, like, oh yeah, we fixed that, you know, three months ago. And so it's, um, it's helpful for us to just be reassured that some of those things are gone. Um, and now they gotta look for new exploits to uh, right, exactly. beat people with. Go break the game, that's what I tell them. Go break yeah. the game and be honest with Mike. You know, don't just come in here and- But he also took to Twitter. Yo, we all know when Mike Wayne takes to Twitter, it's to announce either something's getting taken out of the game or there's a new addition to the game that everybody wants to know about. And last night, he decided to say RIP to Quick Drops. Now, I want to know what you guys think inside the comment section before I tell you guys what I really think. Now, I know a lot of people inside the comment section are probably praising right now, thanking Mike Wayne, telling Mike Wayne he's the best person in the world. And I know that there's others that say, that's all that I have. That's all that I need. Mike Wayne, why? Now, let me give you guys what I truly think. I believe there's always supposed to be something within a video game that is quote unquote safe. As in, when you do this move, when it triggers, it's safety. It's, you know, a two-handed dunk. Most two-handed dunks that are not back scratchers are safety. So even though Quick Drops is now going to be either out of the game or toned down or whatever the case may be, or even the single animation that we saw in that Twitter screenshot is going to be gone, I believe that there are a lot of two-hand dunks in the game that are safety. I use two-hand dunks that the NBA 2K League uh, uses. Um, you, can, you guys can go ahead and check my uh, dunk package video for 2k23 but what i think truly should have happened with quick drops is that the requirements should have been tweaked now i think i know why it's a rip to it is because they can't tweak it too much for instance in order to get jordan's dunk package john's dunk package lebron james dunk pack, all of these dunk packages require some insane you know rating for your dunk now, I don't think that Quick Drop should have been 99 driving, uh, you know, a, 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 a 95 vertical, uh, you know what I mean, or anything like that. I just feel like they should have tweaked Limitless Takeoff. I feel like with Limitless Takeoff, the badge, there are certain orgs out there that do wagers, they do uh, tournaments and things of that nature that ask people to tone down their limitless takeoff so that the dunk doesn't trigger as much as it would if the badge was on gold in Hall of Fame. Now, of course, I know a lot of people probably gonna say, oh man, we love limitless takeoff, but that limitless takeoff doesn't stop the simple fact that people are still gonna be taking off from wherever they want with one to two steps within the three-point line. So. Dunks like straight arm tomahawks, um, dunks like Clyde Drexler, like these dunk packages are still in the game. So I'm just waiting to hear back from the dev team on what they're going to do about Limitless Takeoff. RIP to Quick Drops, I'm sorry you're going, um, but I won't miss you. Um, like I've said in every single video, every single stream, every time people come up to me and ask me a question, iPod always adapts. 
I've been good at the game for quite a while, 70, 80 win percentages. I have no stake in wanting to be a 90 win percentage at all. I am not a comp player. I play with my fans. I play with my friends. And I play with people that I drop off that become friends. So, again, let me know what you guys think inside the comment section about quick drops now being RIP. You know, it's, and, and that's the thing, it's RIP. So, again, make sure you guys watch the 2K TV episode with Mike Wang in it. Um, you can do that by logging in on your PlayStation 5 or your Xbox, whatever the case may be. They always got it on, like, autoplay when you go to the home screen. So, with that being said, I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Um, I'll give you guys my next dunk package in 2K24. It's still going to be cheese. Peace. King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, I buy King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, I buy King Kong, King Kong.